Yo! What up guys and welcome back to another pigeon trapping loft backyard loft extravaganza. I've been having a lot of fun with these videos if you can't tell. I hope you guys have too. You guys have actually been blowing the comment section up and I appreciate you guys so much for always dropping your tips, your ideas, your how to's, your two cents in general. Thank you. Much appreciated. And you guys got that last video up to 1,000 likes like I asked y'all to do. Thank y'all. But as you can tell, we are at the truck stop yet again. And last night was our first rain that we've had in quite some time. Pro quite some time. I say quite some time. Probably about a week. And there's a lot more puddles here at the truck stop. And with the puddles brought the birds. I haven't seen this many birds in the parking lot here in quite some time, probably since the last rain. It seems like whenever we get moderate amounts of rain that actually populate water puddles everywhere, the old truck stop is loaded up on them days right after rains. But we got the trap out again today. Uh, there are some absolute beautiful birds here. There is a red bar oh my goodness with white wings just beaut check out what they're doing here here's all these pigeons are gathered on this water hole right here and our trap is right over there where a big group just landed so that's what we want these birds flying around there's a ton of them here today i mean a lot but we are gonna go ahead and leave them alone they're going right to the trap Looking good so far, boys. I didn't know what to expect when I pulled up. I sat the traps this morning at about nine o'clock, and right now it's two o'clock. It's been really cloudy, really, really cool all morning. It only got up to like 72 degrees up past noon, which is really nice, because it's been hot. I knew the traps would be okay all morning long by themselves, and boy howdy, this rain has just really brought out the birds today, y'all. Oh, well, it is the next day. I'm back in mama's car again, as you can tell. And we just pulled up here to the truck stop and I believe we've got a pigeon in the spring trap, baby. And he isn't dead. How about that? Check it out here. Yeah, buddy. First time. Well, I guess first time that we didn't kill the guy, but yeah, first successful pigeon trapping with the spring trap, baby! Woo! Let's get this guy out of here. You know, all you guys have... Ooh, easy there, fella, easy. All you guys that have been watching uh, all the pigeon trapping, you've seen the video, what was it, two or three videos ago? Where we trapped one in here, but he ended up not making it. That suffocated him too bad. This one, though, we got a blue checker, boys. Woohoo! Heck yeah! That's an older bird there for sure. And that's a male. I just heard him coo. Oh, that's great. We're going to reset this trap real quick. That is awesome. Oh, that makes me. Finally, finally, the spring trap. It's a $160 spring trap. Yeah, $160. Bucks. Well, it's really windy out, guys, so. I don't want the audio blown out any more than it is. <laughs> well, uh, first off, I had to get in the car because it's just so windy, you guys will not be able to hear me. Second off, is the reason why we trapped that guy was because I haven't been throwing out any feed around the main trap. The big one, you know how I was always putting food in the doorway and around it and having a little trail that went up to the trap. Well, we haven't done that in a while and uh, I think it worked. I think it worked because uh, the, the little bowl on the spring trap, that's free food. They don't have to walk in anywhere. And this old male seen it and got trapped. It worked. So I mixed it up a little bit with the wheat in the uh, big trap. I put some more by the door, a little around it again to get them all, get them all excited, you know, get them all gathering around that thing again. But this pigeon we just trapped, I'm not a pigeon expert yet. But I can tell you, it, for one, it's a male. It's been growling and cooing at me, just growling. He's not happy at all. 
and it's a big male. It's a very, very large adult male. Probably the oldest bird that we have in the loft so far. Definitely the biggest bird that we have in the loft so far. He's a handful for me. Definitely the biggest bird yet. So awesome though. Um, we'll have to have Jordan come over here in a little bit to get confirmation on uh, the big male part, but I know uh, males are the ones that coo that. <laughs> Males only do that. Yeah, I know. I sound great, don't I? <sighs> the really, really awesome thing about this is I just checked that trap like it was no more than 45 minutes one hour ago. Was not any longer than that. I love this. That's a proof though right there. This is so much fun. Pigeon trapping, you never know. You go back, you watch the birds, you learn the birds, you learn what they want to eat, you keep adjusting to what they like and what they don't like, and then boom, you get one. So hard work pays off. I'm, I really hope you guys are enjoying these videos. If you are, smash that thumbs up button. Let's get this bad boy over a thousand likes, shall we? Pigeon. Come here. What'd you say, Bubba? Did Daddy get any pigeons? Yeah. Yeah, I got one. You want to see it? Yeah. Let's look. Come on. Look, bub. Look, sis. What do we got? We got a pigeon in there. You want to see him? All right, let's go over here and show Bodie. Look how excited he gets. <laughs> you want to see it, Bubba? Whoa. Oh, you want to see it? No, it's a real one. Watch out. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, don't open it. Put it up. Put it up, Peter! <laughs> Look at that. He loves them pigeons. <laughs> That's a big male pigeon. You hear him? You hear him grunting and growling, sis? He's a big boy pigeon. Yep, come on. Let's go put him in the loft, Bubba. You want to? Yeah. Well, come on. Come on, big boy. Uh, Bodie absolutely adores the pigeons. He loves the loft and his new favorite thing this whole summer has been catching baby frogs. Look what he's doing right now. Catching frogs while daddy catches pigeons. <laughs> the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree y'all. But we are gonna put dude in the loft here. Ready dude? <laughs> there we go. There he is. He is huge. That bird is way bigger than the other ones. He's a feisty guy too. You you hold him and he goes rrr, rrr, and he'll try to get out of your hand and growl and grunt at you. That's a big stud right there. It'll be good for breeding. All right, now that we've done this many pigeon videos, y'all, I know we got some pigeon experts out there watching right now. So. What is the go-to way on these feral pigeons I can identify male and female and then ban them accordingly? How can I easily tell what is a male and what's a female? It's easy to tell what's a male usually because they're bigger and they coo a lot. They, you know, make their noise. They coo a bunch. But what's the go-to method identifying male to female, even if they're young and they look a lot alike? Yeah, ho! Well, it is the next day. It seems like on these pigeon videos, loft videos, trapping videos, I'm always like, yo, it's the next day. We're going day to day to day trying to trap these pigeons because it's not easy. If it was easy, we wouldn't be going day to day to day. You know what I mean? The pigeons are chilling yet again today. But y'all had one awesome, awesome idea. Something I just didn't think of. Pigeons need nests to sleep on, to lay eggs on, and in that little loft, there's no sticks, there's no weeds, there's no straw. And look what I have back here in the old garden. I got some straw to use. So we're gonna use this straw and throw it in the old loft so they'll have something to build nests with. Y'all actually suggested that I do that. I thank you so much because dummy me, I didn't even, I didn't even think about it. Ooh, check that out though. We got some peppers ready to pick that is a jalapeno right there i can guarantee you it is going to be extra hot put that in the old pocket but let's go throw some of this hay in there for him that'll be enough for now i'll see how far that gets them how are you guys doing today huh how are you guys doing today huh you guys just a chilling yeah but we're just going to take our straw 
and throw it down there on the ground right there so they can go down there they can get it and go take it back to their nest a lot of you a lot of you got the idea because they're little boxes they don't have anything in them check them out just chilling Easy now. Get back. Don't be trying to get out my door. What do you want? See in the back here, we actually have these little nesting bowls that Jordan gave me. And it's got these little pads in the bottom of them, which are really cool. But now they can use that straw and build them a nice comfy little nest in there now. But you guys have been honestly helping me so much with the old pigeon loft. I didn't even know what I was getting into when I started. I knew between you guys and Jordan that I'd be fine. That's why I just dove into it. I'm like, <laughs> we, we were using this, guys. We were using this bad boy right here. Now look what we've upgraded to. Isn't it beautiful? But I wanna thank you guys for being here. Thank you for all your helpful information when it comes to the loft. If you guys have any other tips, anything you guys think I need to be doing to the loft, maybe more straw, maybe different. Maybe I need to throw some sticks and twigs in there. I don't know. Let me know down in the comment section below. I would greatly appreciate it. But subscribe if you haven't. We're coming at you with daily, daily uploads, y'all. First time I've ever done this. And it's going good. And y'all enjoy it. But we will see you on the next one, y'all. Peace. I've been getting laid back. Baby, you should know that. I don't need your criticism, pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL. Got a girl.